you know, when I come out to the nature trail at Lodi Lake to do uh, to do my creature features or other such vlogs, it's very very comforting because, like I said in the in the uh, initial uh, video that I did here, it just it feels like you are out of the city and it is absolutely extraordinary. But there is a lot around here that reminds me of other places and if you look around there's all this amazing undergrowth and it brings to mind uh, a certain big cat that is the tiger and in this creature feature after that long-winded intro we are going to look at ways that the tiger is built for the kill First off, tigers are juggernauts in the world of big cats. The Siberian or Amur tiger can weigh in at 600 pounds, making it the largest feline predator in existence today. And they use that bulk and all that muscle mass to their advantage when they hunt. They can bring down animals that are larger than themselves, and that is impressive for a solitary hunter. If you look around at all this undergrowth, one thing that you'll notice is through the trees, light is coming in, but it is dappled. And that is where another one of the tiger's tools comes in handy. Tigers have the striped coat that we all know and love. And that works with the dappled light of the forest to help break up their outline and make them virtually blend into the background, making them invisible to their quarry. Tigers are masters of stealth and then they can also crouch and lower themselves into the undergrowth and they can approach their prey virtually undetected making no noise almost no noise due to the large spaced out and soft foot pads on their feet acting as shock absorbers virtually i mean they they're wearing permanent sneakers and when it finally comes time to do the do the deed as it were take down their quarry tigers explode with short bursts of speed, velocity, and ferocity, <laughs> and they will overpower their prey, and using their three to four inch canine teeth will deliver a killing blow to the neck of their prey, either suffocating it by cutting out the larynx or letting it bleed out by cutting the carotid artery. Being a solitary hunter also means that there's less chance of a mess up on a hunt. And it also means that when it does make a kill, the tiger doesn't have to share its hard-earned meal with anyone else like a lion would have to. Another amazing physical adaptation of the tiger is a flexible spine and long hind limbs that allow certain species of tigers to jump over 30 feet. So as long as the prey is closer than 30 feet, they they'll get to the, to the prey without sailing right over it. Jungle Cruise reference, anyone? I'm gonna wrap things up um, in this built for the kill creature feature about the tiger. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like tigers, comment down below. Tell me your favorite thing about these magnificent big cats. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. Facebook is All Things Wild as well. Um, Instagram at All Things Wild 88. Thank you so much for your support. Have a wild day, everyone.